from a $65,000 investment. Now, all these cash accounts that you're seeing are illustrated at 7%. Over the last 40 years, these policies across the board with all the carriers combined average just shy of 8%. When we designed these, we stress test them at just over 4%. Now, the S&P doesn't do 4%. Can't think of any period of time that it consistently did do 4%, but our typical firm stance is that we won't sell a policy that can't survive 30 consecutive years at 4%. Hardly any other firm does that. The carrier on this particular one, over the last 10 years, their policies have performed around 8.8%. So, now I'm asking you in the studio audience, if money wasn't an object, which of these options would you hate the most? One save that budget get the 30-year term coverage on herself for a quarter million dollars and put a twenty-five thousand dollar child term rider on her daughter for another ten dollars a month two get the 30-year term product for a quarter million dollars in coverage for herself and put the 100 dollars a month permanent policy on her daughter to make her a millionaire three see how much she could start putting away into her own permanent policy on herself and get her daughter the 100 dollars month permanent policy to grow both those cash accounts and don't forget she could always do nothing and hope nothing happens i know well we can't wait to see what you think would probably be the best thing to do next and if you can see yourself doing something like this i think we're going to be able to help you too You've been playing Make Your Child a Millionaire. Created using Powtoon.